Good morning, Denfeld Hunters, and happy Monday, March 20th. I hope you had a wonderful weekend, and welcome back. We only have two weeks left of the third quarter. Please stand, if you're able, to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, looking ahead to the week again, it is Monday, March 20th. Remember, we are moving by staff request only. If you haven't been requested by staff or if you have not made that request yourself, every win is no move. Speaking of when, we do have some opportunities this week. Do you still need to complete your application for a yearbook journalism or exec board? Please go to the media center during when on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday to get it done. Your school counselors will be there with the applications and they'll be on hand to answer any questions. Remember registration for next year's classes ends on Friday. Also, Katie Stulp, an admissions counselor from Lake Spirit College will be hosting a win in the Career Center on Thursday, March 23rd to meet with students already admitted, as well as prospective students. The Lake Spirit College scholarship application just opened. Ms. Stolp will be assisting students to apply during win. Students are encouraged to bring their Chromebooks when they attend this win on March 23rd. For juniors taking the ACT, there are English ACT prep wins this week. Please make it a point to come for all four days as you will review different skills and learn new tricks each day. You can see the schedule on the board. Tuesday, March 21st is with Miss Mickle, as well as Wednesday, March 22nd. Thursday is with Miss Harold, as well as Friday. Check in with your Monday win teacher. Your attendance will be taken via the spreadsheet during the ACT prep win. Here is our mindful minute. So sitting comfortably, just beginning with a nice big deep breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So eyes open, the soft focus. As you breathe out, you can allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm. But just keep the eyes open for a moment. Just focusing in on one particular object within your field of vision. Not staring at it too intently, still aware of the space around you. And just gently focusing on that one object. And then just slowly zooming back out again as you blink a few times with the eyes. All right, since it is Monday, it is Progress Check Monday. Make sure to check your grades weekly to help keep up rather than having to catch up. Make sure and log into Canvas and check your in-progress grades. Remember, passing classes requires a 60% average based on your grade in both quarters, which are each worth 43%, and the final exam, which is worth 14%. Passing classes allows you to earn credits toward on-time graduation. Also, make sure and log into Infinite Campus and check your attendance. Remember, you will lose credit on your ninth unexcused absence in a class. Unexcused absences not only impact your credit in classes, they also impact your hunter license privileges like open lunch dances and home games. Well, the third quarter ends Friday, March 31st. Again, we are only... We only have two weeks left to go. This means you have two weeks to finish strong, be in all of your classes, avoiding receiving an incomplete due to attendance, be on time to all your classes to take advantage of all the available learning time and don't interrupt the learning of others. Schedule time during when to work with your teachers. If you need to make up tests, quizzes, labs, assignments, etc., or just need extra help, stay for Dash for dedicated time to work on homework and to work with tutors. Come to attendance recovery to recover any tardy or unexcused absences to prevent that incomplete. And ask for what you need. If there is something that is not on this list that would help you do your best, make a request to a trusted adult. Well, we've had a tenants recovery going on and you have multiple options to recover. Remember, if you earned an incomplete on your report card or transcript due to exceeding the district attendance policy, the deadline to complete that attendance recovery is Friday, April 28th. 
students will need to complete the Attendance Academy Canvas course or come to any of the in-person attendance recovery sessions. Remember, if you're doing Canvas, it will send you an invite via your email. But if you're coming in person, you can do that after school, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday from 3.30 to 4.20 in room 2010 before school on Wednesday and Friday from 8 to 8.50 in the Smart Board Lab. And yes, you can do it on the weekends from 9 to 1 in the Smart Board Lab. Each 50-minute session equals one absence or five tardies. You must bring something to read, work, or study on, and no phones. Just a reminder that we started collecting data to determine who is eligible to go to prom on Monday, March 6th. Remember to be eligible between March 6th and Friday, May 5th. You have to be passing all your classes with a D or higher. You have to have no more than eight unexcused absences, total not per class, no more than nine unexcused tardies, again, total not per class, and no more than two major or five minor behavior referrals and no OSS time. Protect your privileges. Be sure you know where you stand with your grades and attendance. Student support desk snacks return. Hunters, if you're hungry and it is impacting your concentration in class, you can now once again access small snacks at the student support desk Snacks are available only during class time with teacher permission. Snacks will not be available to students during passing time or without a ticket. You must get a blue snack ticket from one of your teachers. You can have a maximum of two snack vouchers each day. You can also come during passing time to get notebooks, pencils, or folders. Hunters, the end of the third quarter is right around the corner and we need your help planning our recognition event for our quarter three soaring hunters. Please check your email for a Google form to vote and provide your feedback so we can make this the best event ever. If you're interested students in learning about how you can recognize and respond to conflict, learn how to navigate conflict you experience, practice skills to help you be effective in your relationships and how to manage and use your emotions effectively, help your peers navigate conflict, Dad felt partners with the Center for Career conflict resolution to offer an eight-week group called Words Can Work. You'll learn all this and much more about building and maintaining healthy and effective relationships at school and in the community. The group will meet weekly for eight weeks during when Classes will start ASAP. If you're interested, please contact Ms. Jarvis. Spring sports, baseball, tryouts today and tomorrow in the Denfeld Gym at 7 p.m. Also, boys and girls golf. You have a preseason meeting on Wednesday, March 22nd at 3.45, and I'm going to assume either the Commons or the gym lobby. Hey, Hunters, check your email to find out how you can make money being creative. Denfeld Exec Board is planning to host a Denfeld Village event, which creates an opportunity for you to showcase your talent, creativity, and entrepreneurial skills and make some money. Also, Denfeld's prom dress and formal wear swap is back. If you'd like to sell your gently used formal dress garments, that's for men and women, Drop them off in Miss Masiosi's room 2313 and set your price before school on March 27th, 28th, and 29th. We'll add them to the sale, which will take place on April 4th through the 6th in the Danfield Auditorium. If you sell your items, you receive all the money. If you have questions, contact Miss Masiosi. Well, we do have a new opportunity that's been going on for a few weeks at Denfeld to learn more about yoga. So... We do have yoga happening weekly at Denfeld. It's a great opportunity to strengthen your mind and your body, and you can sign up by talking to Soraya. It's Tuesdays during WIN. Look at all the clubs and activities that we have. This list has really grown throughout the year, so find something to get involved in and get involved. The SOAR store is open this week and every week on Tuesday and Thursdays during both lunches. Come spend your SOAR cards on a variety of fun and interesting prizes. If you need help with mental health, chemical health, or conflict coaching, you can see all the partners that we have worked with throughout the year and over the years. Please contact your counselor for a referral to any of these resources again if you need some support with mental, chemical, health, or conflict. The Jack Moon Scholarship is due today. Seniors, if you're planning to attend a two-year college or Votech or trade school in Minnesota, Wisconsin, or Michigan and want to earn a diploma or certificate, the Jack Moon Scholarship is now open and accepting applications until today. That can be found at the application link on the screen. Please watch your school email for scholarship win times. We are out of time for the Jack Moon. Get it turned in today. 
The Emberg Scholarship is now open and accepting applications through April 27th. It is very similar to the Jack Moon for students attending voc vocational, technical, or trade schools in Northeast Minnesota or Northwest Wisconsin. That scholarship is linked here as well. All 10th graders who did not attend the career fair at Fond du Lac will be going to Construct Tomorrow on April 26th from 9.30 to 10.45. Construct Tomorrow is a career fair for the trades such as electricians, carpenters, masons, heavy equipment operators, and many more. Boss lists and more information will be shared as we get closer to the date. Some acknowledgments, Hunters. Each week, the 9th and 10th grade bar teacher teams pick students of the week for bar. Congratulations to the following students who were honored last week. Jake K, Jordan C, Anya B, Marnarius F, and Josh R. Congratulations also to the boys basketball team for the section runner up finish last week. Thank you to the team for your great season. Also, thank you to the student section, band, and cheerleaders who showed up to support you. Well done, Hunters. A lot of community pride. Uh, taking a look at the week ahead, you can tell that winter sports have now wrapped up and spring sports are really yet to spool up. But we do have one thing going on this week, Hunters. That's our robotics team, Team DNA, will be at a regional competition down in La Crosse, Wisconsin on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Good luck, robotics. You will do us proud. This week's Hunter Hall of Fame highlight is Doug McIver, who was a staff member here from 1970 until 2005. Known to his friends and students alike as Mac, Doug McIver worked at Denfell throughout his teaching, coaching, and administrative career. He was hired in 1970 to teach physical education and coach. He stayed until his retirement in 2005 as activities director. He taught Phi Ed and took pride in making it more than a gym class. He started the innovative two-hour personal fitness sports appreciation class in which students learned about the traditions, history, and rules about how to play several sports and activities that there was no time for in a traditional setting. He also received the Greg Irons Award in 1994 for dedication to students in Duluth Public Schools. He served as boys and girls cross country coach from 1970 to 1987. He took what had been an out of season get in shape for other sports program in cross country and made the Hunters into a recognized regional and state power. He took teams and individuals to numerous state meets and was the region seven AA coach of the year in 77 and 81. As activities director, McIver oversaw the implementation of Title IX and equal opportunities for female athletes at Denfeld. He found innovative ways to fund programs when activities budgets were slashed by the school board. He was actively involved with renovations to Denfeld's Phi Wing in 1986 and Public School Stadium in 2000. The question for you, Hunters, is how high will you soar? For our check-in circle, just remember the guidelines. Speak when you have the talking piece, listen when you don't. Speak from your own point of view. Listen to understand others. Speak with respect. Say just enough. Remain present in circle and honor privacy. And the two passes for today are, if you were to describe your weekend as a city, which city would you pick and why? And who is someone that makes you feel brave or courageous and why? Hunters, that's all we have from this side of the screen. Have a wonderful week, and we'll talk to you the same time, same place next week.